morning everybody, Fevernini here, and welcome to a game called Duck Detectives. Now this is another one of those longer gameplay, so go ahead and get your snacks, get comfortable, because we have a lot of deductions to do. Life wasn't easy. Ooh, there's voice acting? I'm happy. And I'm happy that this little duck detective has like the smoothest, deepest voice ever. Yes. <laughs> yes! I was a freshly divorced duck. Not divorced! Not able to pay next month's rent. Good golly goodness. Not that I had paid for it this month yet. <laughs> this is fine. Life happens. My brain felt foggy. And I was trying to remember. What were you trying to remember? Where did all my money go? That's literally what I ask myself every day. Where did all my money go? And then I look at my plushie collection. Then I look at the games I got. That's probably where the money's going. I had to retrace last night's steps. Okay. Ooh, deductions! Deductions are a viral part of a detective's work. Find clue words by questioning persons and expecting your surroundings. Enter clue words into the blank spaces to solve deductions. Okay. So I'm guessing this is the tutorial run. So deductions, the new nest. Blank spent his or her last money on blank for blank. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So we just gotta go around. Oh, oh, so it's like a little paper style. I so won't cute. I not be needing this badge anymore. Oh. I guess I can keep it as a souvenir. Oh, that's my, my police badge. My new job as the duck detective isn't going any better though. Don't worry, your luck is about to change. You got that Nina luck on your side. <sighs> Aww. Well, if things keep going badly, I can always sell it online. Trusky. What about over no here? No messages. No messages from your uh, from your ex? Are you expecting her to take you back? I wonder what happened there. Smell. Tell me the drama. <laughs> it smells fresh. Is that piece of bread? Oh, sweet <laughs> spongy love. Oh my god, the voice acting oh, though. You keep me safe at night. <laughs> If this was in one of those creepy boyfriend games that I'd be playing, guys, let's just say a lot of you guys will probably go crazy. You guys, not me, of course. <laughs> oh, what's up there? I took that photo of her in a secluded tulip field. Oh, is that your swan? Literally, I, I see like the close-up looks like a swan, like Loki a swan, you know? Under the stars that night. Aww. And now. What? She doesn't even answer my texts. That's kind of sad, really. Well, really sad. I can't believe Anna actually filed the divorce papers. Oh, so her name was Anna. Okay. Um, and I gotta check over here. Second overdue notice. This is really sad. <laughs> I wonder at what point they start kicking people out. Dang. I have everything I need to solve this now. Good. Okay, so I'm guessing, um, Anna the duck detective spent his or her last money on bread oh you keep me safe at night <laughs> um for what for anna okay so i'm guessing for anna and it's tulips right two or fewer things are wrong the rent on myself um uh bread it really was a bread <laughs> i was joking but it actually was Dang, that is actually crazy. Spending all your money on bread? I mean, my guy, you might have to relook your life just a little bit, but that bread probably was worth it. <laughs> but the toast helps me to forget. Ah, I understand, my guy. Bread is a powerful thing. Oh, is that Anna? My love! Ah! <laughs> Anna! <laughs> But oh my gosh, the desperation. I'm a different duck now. <laughs> I gotta stop laughing at this, but oh my, I'm a different Wait. duck. <laughs> I haven't had a, a slice of bread in weeks. I'm a bed. You have to believe me. Why should not even be Anna? Uh, <clears throat> oh. Are you a client, perhaps? That's even more embarrassing. Please, don't be a client. Yeah, have you? Oh no, it's a client. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, this is just so embarrassing. <laughs> Poor little duck. Let's discuss this in person. Yeah, let's discuss this in person. Now, be there in an hour. Be there in an hour. I really like that they put, like, voice acting this. Like, literally the voice actor. Like, I feel like I'm going to gush about this for, like, the rest of the gameplay. Well, I'll try not to. So I can just get it all out now. Like, seriously. Great job at voice acting. more than half of my remaining cash on the bus fare. And here I was. In front of 
Bear Bus Office. Bear Bus Some Office. Some sort of rundown call center. <laughs> I better crack this case, or I won't even have enough money to make it back home. Don't worry, we got this. We got this, my guy. We got this. But I'm guessing I'm gonna look around for some clues in advance, you know, because I'm the greatest deductive New detective bus route ever. Starting in August. Visit the <laughs> that was scenic weird. mountains of South Sicilia. Mm. I'd always tell her that we'd go there one day. Aw, this is like really sad. Like, <laughs> I like that the, the environment is like you can actually do stuff in the environment. That's cool. Oh, what would you guys? What you doing over here? I'm staying here until I get my money back. <laughs> Not your money back. Bear bus? <laughs> more like scam bus. Go ahead and tell me more. Sound unhappy. You do. You bet I am. For why? Their stupid buses always arrive late. So that makes them a scam? I came back from a work trip to the west and arrived here at three in the morning. Dang. And they don't even want to give me a refund. I get it. Even a partial refund would have been something. How much did you pay? Um, two schmark. <laughs> But that's not the point. Yeah, it's, it's integrity, you know? It's about the principle. The principle is what I meant. <laughs> LOL. Are we going to learn something about this place? I wonder if that has to do with anything that we're about to investigate. Or deduct. <laughs> okay. This place looks very lively. I can already tell based on her face that the receptionist was a tough one. Yeah. She wouldn't make life easy for me. <laughs> but I had to make my way into the office. Whether she likes it or not, that is what we do here. Hello, sweet I'm thing. I'm a duck detective. I'm here to investigate a case. Okay. <laughs> do you work here? Basically, didn't, didn't someone not call me for here? Uh, no. Well, then I can't let you in. But I've been hired by someone. Yeah, that's from what I'm Bear saying. Bus. Literally, someone hired you. What? Who hired you? Someone. Um. <laughs> I. Didn't someone is that not enough for you? I'm just saying someone. <laughs> Imagine. Listen, buddy. Yeah. You better get out of here, or I'll have to call security. Good golly goodness, guys. There's always more to people than you might think. Trusky. I should take a closer look and. Figure out what she's about. Oh, am I gonna smooth talk my way into this? Okay, use the magnifying glass to find clues and press A to uncover them. Ooh, oh, sweat. I see the sweat stains. Is that is that not a clue? Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. That was personal. There we go. Keychain, boy band, <gasps> K-pop band. Are you into BTS? Or oh, I'm sorry, KTS. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's look at those eyes. <gasps> Tearing up. Tear? Sad? Oh no. Did something happen to your- I love how detailed- I didn't even notice, but I actually love how very detailed it gets. Like, un like under the, um, the, 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 the microscope. That is so cool. Name tag? Last name? Winthermir. I think that's enough, right? That should be everything. But I actually really like how overly detailed it gets. I mean, I get it, it's a magnifying glass, but I, I love that touch. I love that. Okay, and we can talk again, or should I just, uh... It's locked. It's locked. I literally <laughs> just told you you need to stay out. I literally just told you. Why are you even trying? It says server room. It's locked. <laughs> Am I just saying all of this out loud? I'm like, it's locked. It says server room. That'd be funny. Okay, we got some more stuff. It says, answer to God if someone steals my mug again, I... Oh, swear to gosh. Okay, gotcha. I was like, what? Mug? Stolen? Stolen mug. And then we got someone from CS is something too loud. I can hear her keyboard. Yeah, first name? Laura? Uh, Laura from CS. Gotcha. It's Sophie's birthday Thursday. Just saying. Birthday? And what's over here? It says suggestions. Why is this all in the suggestion box? Like, some of those actually... Do None of these are actually subjections. They're, like, literally just complaining. Um, but I'm missing one. Oh! First name? 
Oh, Sophie. Sophie, Laura, birthday stolen. What am I going to do with all this Please information? Don't. Suspects. It's important to work out a suspect's name to crack the case. Enter their first and last name into the slot below their portrait in the journal suspect photo. Okay, let's go ahead and name you. Your name is Sophie Wynn. Yeah. Yeah, your name's Sophie. Now what did that do? Detective work isn't easy. It isn't. You need to pay attention to everything you see and hear. And that's terrible for me. I don't have a terrible memory. There must have been something I overlooked. Ponder details. I needed to backtrack. Okay. The thing that bothered me in particular was... Missing clue word, suspect name, deduction. Yeah. I had to go over everything I'd found so far. Yeah. What was it that connected the receptionist and the calendar? Oh, did I even check the calendar? Once I had that figured out. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, so those are clues. Sorry. Just making a mess. Excuse me. I forgot to look at the calendar. I don't know why I even just went right into it. Seventh? Today? Ah, oh, gotcha. Smiley? Happy? <laughs> Giraffe? Cute? That's our girl! <laughs> Literally. Happy birthday on, what is this, September 7th? Tomorrow is Friday. Today is Thursday. I need to, to collect my dry cleaning. <laughs> I need to remember I my dry cleaning. I should be able to figure out what's going on with her. Because it's her birthday and nobody said happy birthday to her. I need to check my notes in the deduction section. Gotcha. Okay. Um. So I got it. Sophie is feeling sad because nobody has remembered her mug. <laughs> her birthday. Woo. Duck approved. <sighs> That's why she's making such a face. Yeah, we're amazing at our jobs, guys. I should try and cheer her up. We should. Especially with a voice like that. I'll cheer anyone up. You're still here? Happy birthday! <laughs> I'm just here to wish you a happy birthday. <gasps> oh, this is actually so wholesome. How did you know? Just another one of Duck Detective's great deductions. deductions. Gotta add the K in there. Deductions. Because we uh, ducks. <laughs> uh, anyway, that was really nice of you. Aww. No one else remembered. Can you believe it? Even though someone literally put it. Wait, did you put that suggestion in the box? Imagine. Plot twist. If you know my birthday, you must have a connection to someone here. Oh, yeah, totally. That's how it works. Here's the key card to the office. Let's do it. Adding this to the case files. We got the bear bus over here, right? Excuse me, don't mind if I do. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. Oh, wait, there's actually duck facts at the bottom. Wait, I didn't read it. <laughs> okay, so who called me? And that guy's stressed out, guys. <laughs> the stained carpets and peeling wallpaper exuded a stench of stale coffee and abandoned dreams. It's kind of sad, actually. I knew I couldn't stay long or it would rub off on me. We don't want any of that rubbing off on me, all that bad luck and such. <laughs> What's wrong? Frederson needs to be fired! Ooh, we gotta figure out who Frederson is. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Hey, I'm just a duck. Who are you? Do you have a problem? What do you mean, do you have a problem? <laughs> Anyone that just walks in the office, you got a problem? If you have one, just call our damn hotline. Dang. I'm Eugene McQuacklin. McQuacklin! Oh my gosh client hired me to investigate a case yes i'm on the case <sighs> da, da, da. why didn't you just say so yeah it's time we put an end to the awful lunch death oh all we need to fire him is some evidence for <laughs> all we need to fire him i'll be in my office okay so there's someone stealing um First, lunch from I everyone i had to find out who works here and what their jobs are gotcha i needed to find my client as well thankfully I remembered the piece of paper I had in my jacket from taking notes during the call. Can we have showed that to like the receptionist lady so that we wouldn't have to like remember her birthday and make her feel better? I mean, that was good of us, but like, couldn't we have done this in the first place? Okay, adding this to the case file. Client's note. Um, okay, so this is gonna be the next part. Oh, we have two things. Client and we got the suspect. Interessante. Um, 
Yeah, we gotta get names for everyone. Interesting. Pondering. Tricky deductions might require new perspective. Press D-pad down to get additional guidance at any time. No, we're gonna try to avoid the hints because that's basically what that is. It's like hints. So we're gonna try to avoid the hints and we're just gonna go around and read some clues. It's a list of all the bus drivers. The most busy driver out of all four seems to be Petrovich. Petrovich is a name. And there's four bus drivers. Those are our clues. Okay, let me just go ahead and look at this cash payment receipt. Receipt? Expensive? West currency. West currency. Interesting. Okay, what's over here? Salami. High quality. <laughs> let me go ahead and take it. Um, It's a high quality bag too. Not gonna lie. What about this? Any of this stuff is rubbing off? No? Up here? It's always like just one. Oh, here it is. Gotcha. Spotless. Good condition. Gotcha. That's a lot of salami. Who just has all the salami in the world? Like, who made them that? Wh whose personality is salami? Before I talk to you, let me just stare at you real quick. Big glasses. Strong prescription. Bad eyesight. Big teeth. Scary. He's gonna kill someone. I gotcha. Laura. Oh, Laura. <laughs> Laura, custom mug. <laughs> are you are you Laura? Sorry. Um, and you got one more thing. The shoes, Velcro shoes. Lame. <laughs> That's crazy to put that in your investigations. Lame. Awesome. Now let's talk. I'm the only one here in the operating office. Can you imagine? Oh wait, what is your name? Did you steal Laura's cup? I plan all the bus routes and make sure the buses are on time. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Yeah. Don't you have an angry customer shouting outside about the buses True. being True? Like... So it's not cool. It's lame. Like your shoes. <laughs> I, uh... Really? Yeah. Uh, X? Oh. Interrogate? Do you have any idea who picked me to investigate? Yeah, you know anything? <laughs> he chuckles. No idea, but I'm so happy you're here. So I bet you're the lunch thief. You already stole freaking Laura's cup. I have a copy of your book. The early bird catches the criminal. You have a copy of my book. Can you sign it? I feel like that's leaving evidence. No. Maybe. I don't trust that. I don't trust that. Oh, okay. No. I'll just keep the copy right here. Okay. So you could sign it. Later. If you want to incriminate me, I'm already 10,000 steps ahead. So sus. Why are you so suspicious? Stop being so sus. Okay, we got Hollandaise. It's a station. Okay, over here is another station. Escargot. Another station. Salsicia. I'm probably saying these names completely terribly. But that's Nina. And next station is Brazil. Awesome. We got all the bear buses. Their buses don't go very far. Yeah, they just kind of stay in this area, right? Can I actually slip? That would be funny if they like allowed you to slip. <laughs> okay, excuse me. The two excuse desks mess. on this side look unused. Ah, so why is it unused? Sorry, sorry. I just gotta make a mess of everything. Yeah, the stressed out eyes is already, I already know that's strained eyes, insomnic. So you haven't slept in a while. You got the ears, the, 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 the music in though. Dedicated. Zip. Oh, what's that in your pocket? Energy drink? Yeah, bad habits. She answers a call. This is Bear Bus. How can I help you? Ugh, this is the third time you're calling. I'm telling you, your ex-wife did not cancel your booking. <laughs> She, uh, yeah. Looks busy. We should come back later. So we'll see you later. Okay. Uh, well, actually, I don't even know if I can even talk to you about this. Um, you know anything about her? What is your relationship with? Like while she's Winter? on the phone. What's your relationship? Excuse me for a second. <laughs> oh man, I don't know how I'd survive the office without her. Aw. Sucks that she's at the reception. Okay, cool. I would have loved to have her in the office. I'm back. Yes. Please collect your toddler from the bus station. <laughs> please collect your toddler, please. This one? I need to ask you some questions. 
No, I'm sorry. You can't take your 12 trombones on the bus. <laughs> what are these? Like, you know what? Not gonna lie. I would not put it past her that these are actual real, like, scenarios. Because customers be customering, you know? Whether they want to or not. <laughs> what? Can't you see I'm talking to a customer? Yeah, but, like, I'm more important. <laughs> it's company policy. Nothing I can do. Goodbye. Uh, nothing added. Do you know added. anything about who called me here? What are you talking about? Listen, I have a million more emails to answer, and there are 50 people in the phone queue. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I feel terrible. Um, oh yeah, I'll leave you alone. I have worked 10 days in a row, including three night shifts. Oh my, this is overwork. No, this is actually against, like, this is not legal. And Manfred still doesn't want to give me a raise. So I'm guessing Manfred is that bear. Just leave me a piece. I'm so sorry. So. <laughs> so you have no clues for me. The poor thing is already like freaking um which calls did um super busy. Okay, what's this? We got White Lock. Last name White Lock. Okay. Who is that? Profile picture posing. And password is a hit. Me and sexy ain't what? Huh? What? <laughs> password accessible. Okay. Awesome. I wonder if there are clues to her password. Okay. I don't think I have enough information to crack it yet. That is so hilarious, though. Yeah, we'll come back. We'll get back to it. I, at first, I gotta, tr I literally gotta trip over every single trash can I see, cause why not? Okay, what is that? We got fixed photo here. Layout lazy. <laughs> Insert photo here. Fired or fixed? There you go. Um, it says Freddy sucks. First name, Freddy. Who's Freddy? Stop with the pushed post-its, lol. Is it the harf, 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 bear? We talking about the arf, 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 arf. Wait, where's the last two? Like the stains? Could the stains be one? I like the stains should, uh, 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 just kidding. It's right here. Last name, Cedrus. Okay, but first name, first name, Rufus. So who's that? We gotta figure out who is the lazy bum that made wait employee of the month oh rufus is the employee of the month so rufus might be a platypus maybe is that what we're looking for lol the, the this is actually so lazy i bet it was like the the crater not the crater um the um the boss i'm not sure I the boss is probably like close to that like that okay let me go around. Can I go in the kitchen? In here must be the crime scene. The crime First, scene? I want to find out who the people in the office I got will you. make things easier in the long run. I'll need to remember to write everything down in my deductions. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. So, uh... Uh... Is your name, perhaps, Laura? Are you Laura Fredris? I lied. Uh, Pedro. I lied. Uh, set. I lied. White lock. Oh my gosh, this is awkward. Uh, let me just go ahead and continue looking around. I, 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 I'm not gonna look at. I'm not gonna get hints. I'm gonna go somewhere else. I'm gonna get more things. Let's go. Oh, your name is her. The dimly lit room seemed to promise well kept secrets and rumors. Am I monologuing to myself out loud? Probably not. Hey, my guy. <laughs> the eyeballs. Angry brow. Stern. Okay. Um, what's over here? Gotcha, gotcha. Let's see. Ty. Expensive. Branch manager. So you are... Ooh, stains? Stain? Baby food? Family man. Oh, wow. These deductions are actually amazing. Not gonna lie. Number one, dad. Let me just go ahead. <laughs> Let me just keep looking at everything else except for like Says talk to you know. Ernst. That's you. Gotcha. And oh my gosh, he really is Papa Bear. Wait, excuse me, excuse me, excuse it's me. It's a letter for an application for a promotion to senior customer service agent. Interesting. Signed by L. Angst. L. Angst. Who's that? We're just getting a lot of names. Sorry, I just had to flip that over real quick. What are you doing <gasps> with my family? Nothing. Portrait? Sorry. I'm not. I'm sorry. I meant to do that. Okay, sorry. Let me just look at your gorgeous wife. Your adorable little kids. Kids, identical age. Twins. They're so adorable. Come down here. Framed. High quality. Everything's high quality about this man. 
Um, um, num, num, num. I really love the touches. Like, it's so adorable. Like, all the stuff they add over here. What's that? Hinge? Secret compartment. It's a safe! Okay. Is it normal to have a huge painting? No, nah, it's a safe. It's office? totally a safe. It's a front. It's a front, guys. It's a front. Anyways, let me talk to you. How are the detective things going, Mr. Detective? Super detectiving. It's Mr. McQuacklin. Mr. McQuacklin. I really like right. that name. Apologies. Um, Why was right added to clues? Are you planning on staying in my office much longer? No, 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 no. I'll have to inspect the entire premise to do my job correctly. <sighs> well, hurry up. I will, I will. Hold your horse, sis. I got a couple questions for you. Was it you who called me? No. I never heard of you before. So who the freak called me? That's unusual. Huh. It's good you're here. Since there has been some unrest. Are you gonna are 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 you gonna pay me? Like you didn't call me here, but someone else did. But you're just happy that I'm here. Are are you gonna pay me or are you just gonna benefit from it? I wonder. Anyways. Um I think we're just gonna go around says. and uh, get all of the like the first names and stuff. So would they say that your first name is Oh, your name's not even here. Freddy, Ernest, no, yeah, the her, the her is not here. Oh, Manfred? Dude, what, why does it say her, like H-E-R-R? -R? What the freak? I mean, it works, so I shouldn't be complaining. I should not be complaining. Anyways, we got the name of him. Let's go ahead, should, I mean, I feel like, or what, are you the employee of the month? You're not, okay. I guess that makes sense. Is your first name Laurel, though? I wonder. Betterson. Angst. Angst! Ew! It's a letter for an applic signed. Oh, there we go. That makes sense. Ah! Like, I, I, I love these things. Like, it literally makes me feel... Signed by L. Angst. Big brain. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. And now you. I thought your name was gonna be Roof this so let's try the other names freddy frederson first try guys first try indeed i'm amazing i am great um uh let's talk about this girl what do you know about laura angst oh she's a fantastic employee of course she is she basically does the work of five people which is not healthy Oh, I guess that's all you want to talk about. Okay, un momento. Every duck has a unique footprint. I love the little duck facts at the like the end. Okay, let's go ahead. Is there stuff up here? No, I shouldn't go outside. Oh, that's outside. I need to find out who the people in this office. I got gotcha. you. Remember to write down their professions and write it. Your their professions. Your name is Freddy. Let's talk about your boss. What do you know about Manfred Ernst? I think he likes me. He's the only one who doesn't shout at me. Oh. Everyone shouts at you? That's interesting. Um, I think you, you, you're you basically done, huh? Oh, can I even talk to you about anything can else? Can you tell me more about Freddy Frederson? Let me put you on hold while I find the route for you. Freddy? Freddy? <laughs> paid more than me. What? That is actually crazy. No, I'll be so livid if I'm working literally 10 days a week with barely any time off and someone else that's barely putting in the work. Nah, I'll be mad. What an incompetent waste of office space. Dang. Literally, he's right there. He can probably hear everything. Hello, this <laughs> is Laura again. I checked the bus routes and found that. Oh. What do you think about Manfred Ernst? Oh, he's a great guy. Oh, really? I just wish I'd finally get a raise. Okay. Yeah, sorry, this is Bear Bus. Your bus will be three hours late. Interesting. So you actually like your boss, and then your boss likes you. Um, and who's... I, I don't know if we found out who... Like, I don't think this person's here yet. Um, can I do anything with that? The PC is on, but the person who works at this desk seems to be on a break. Is in the, in the lunch. They only have a single person answering the hotline right now? That is sad. That's surprising. Surprising. Okay, so I think, are we supposed to get this together first? Um, oh, wait, I think we're supposed to do this first. Gotcha. Okay, so the suspects. 
Um, Blank the giraffe. Um, I got this part. Sophie the giraffe works as a receptionist. The bear is uh, Manfred, and he is the branch manager. Um, Laura the cat works in customer service or no operating office, right? Oh, there's more. The crocodile called Freddy works in customer service? I feel like I got those two mixed up. So your operating office, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. He was the operator and she's the customer service because she's answering all the phones. Duh, let's go, now first try, you didn't see the other thing. Names, I was ready to check out the crime scene. Awesome. Let's see where that lunch got stolen from. Then I could finally talk to my client. <laughs> finally? Okay, so I'm guessing the client is the sheep. Is that is is it a sheep? I actually don't know if that this was for a sheep. Ducks migrate thousands of miles. As soon as I enter the kitchen, <laughs> the comforting waft of cheap white toast entered my nostrils. It's always the toast, guys. It's always the toast. <laughs> <sighs> I knew I had to stay strong. Stay strong, little duckling. Stay strong. This wasn't what I was here for. <laughs> like the passion Stop in the voice. Stop eating the icing. Can't you wait a couple hours? Yeah. Margaret, if it wasn't for these pants almost bursting, pants? I'd have this for breakfast every day. Ooh, what are you making, Margaret? Yes, yes. And you can have it and so much more later when we're done preparing. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. I want it. Right now. Right here. Right now. What you guys making? Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, look at her little face. Um, whisk baker motherly. Love to see it over here. Um, tan line divorce. Nice. And then in shoes, shoes, the hair, the eyeballs, anything up here? Anything I'm missing? Anything at all? Oh, right here. And it's impeccable hair, well groomed. So a very motherly figure that's well put together. Hi. Yes, dear. I'm Eugene McQuacklin. Eugene McQuacklin. <laughs> and I need to ask some questions. A detective? How exciting! It's exciting! What's the most gruesome murder you've oh seen? Oh my gosh, that is not what I thought you were gonna say! The motherly finger figure? How what? many dead bodies have you encountered? Um, five <laughs> little piggies. No one died, but <laughs> I investigated the case once where five little pigs robbed a bank. Dang! Those got pigs got him in there! And got myself an article in the Goose Times. Nice. They called it the Piggy Bank Case. <laughs> Piggy Base Case. Did someone get shot? Why are you so excited about this? <laughs> no. <laughs> Beaten up. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know what? You're my type no. of girl. Not gonna lie. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's let's talk to you. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? Yeah. She doesn't have the easiest life, you know. Aww. She just had a terrible breakup with her ex. On top of the nobody remembering her birthday, now it's like no, she broke up with her ex? That's so sad. But don't tell anyone. I won't. <laughs> just you guys. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about Laura Angst? Oh, she's such a hardworking girl. Very hardworking. I heard she secretly studies for her online bachelor's during work. How? Literally, with all the work that she does, she is literally girl boss. That's what you call that right there, guys. You need to keep this a secret, though. I gotcha. I gotcha. Guys, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Do you know anyone here who could have hired me? Hmm. Hmm. To be honest. Everyone was quite shocked by the lunch theft. Interesting. And no one told me they've called a detective. Oh, I thought it would be you. I don't know what's going on at all. <laughs> Why do you sound so suspicious by saying that? I don't know what's going on at all. Okay, let's see what's, what's going on with this guy. Bushy eyebrows. We got Rockley over here, bushy brows. Um, we got A, sticker, sci-fi fan. Oh, um, oh, man, what is it called? Um... What was that? Oh, man. Star Trek? I think is that what it is? Gosh dang it. You guys can tell me in the comments, though. Toolbox. Janitor. Okay. And the shoes. Worker shoes. Practical person. Love to see it. I love how, like, you can actually, like, do this in real life. Like, you can, like, look at a person's character and be like, like, they're literally shows their personality and all that stuff. Let's talk to ya. Dishwasher's broken again. 
What's wrong with these youngsters? These youngsters. Don't know how to treat things with respect. Why would they put the mugs in face up? Face up? What? Oh, yeah, that's diabolical. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should leave the dish. Oh, you can continue talking to them. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> that That'll teach them a lesson. Wait, can I keep going? Dishwashers. Okay. What's wrong with just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. What about the boss? Do you get along with Manfred Ernst? Hmm. He's a stubborn. Man. I bet. I do respect that. Okay, stubborn. Would you say you enjoy Freddy Fredersons? No, I don't think anyone does. <laughs> huh. LOL. If anyone needs to learn to respect their elders. It's that moron. I figured. Okay, what about you? Did you hire I'm me? I'm a private detective, and I'm here to investigate a case. Is that so? Is that so? Yes, indeed. I need to find my client. Do you know who it could be? Uh, Freddy's a bit of a weird one, so I'd imagine you would call detective. Oh, did Freddy actually call, and that's why he was... <gasps> He's the one with the book, so that would make sense that he would call me. So he would just lie because he was nervous that he actually was the one that called me. Personally... I feel we're doing just fine. And don't need no messing about our business around Interesting. Here. I thought Freddy was acting like that because he was like a little like sus, you know? But no. Margaret. First name. Margaret. Gotcha. Um, thanks for the food. Handprint. Greasy. Sharp claws. Oh. Oh, Salami Bandit. Oh. Gotcha. And it like and it looks so bad for Freddy because he has the salami in his bag. Like <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's just too like maybe he's like the too like the obvious choice that you just don't want to pick him, you know? What? I, I, I totally went down here. Note thief. So, what? Did I not see that? <laughs> Dang guys, I was literally on this for a good second. So, I just had to go over the must note be again. The crime scene. Okay. This note is curious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Salamander Bandit. Gross. Gross. I doubt they washed their hands after leaving that greasy handprint. Oh, it's like the same handprint. Interesting. It's like their calling card. Not calling card, but like, you know. It's like their thingy. Surely you must have some interesting stories. Nah, I don't want to talk about the That's teething turtle. Question. Uh, let's see. There's some stuff over here. Of course, got a tip over the trash can. Of course, guys. Okay, uh, let's see. Canceled. Cancelled budget cuts. Okay, over here, Halloween party. Party. And hungry, get your own lunch. Looking for editor, unpaid. Dang, that's crazy. Um, and then it just looks like the two girls having fun. Let's see what I'm up. Oh. Angry notes. Hungry. Gotcha. Hungry, get your own lunch. Office parties are a bad idea anyway. They stopped doing them at the precinct after the, uh... The jam, jam incident. incident. Wonder what you're talking about, my guy. Let's see. I think right now we probably have enough to do... Oh, no, not enough. We are missing a little bit of knowledge for... Oh, we can also do this. So can we actually get his name? Oh, are you actually the employee of the month? You are? Oh, it is like a penguin. I thought it was a platypus, but it is a penguin. Gotcha. Okay, Margaret... Wetlock. Okay, so we're just missing one more person that we haven't seen. Interessante. And now that I know about her, should I talk to her again? I'll try to talk to her again sure, and see if she says anything about her computer, I you know? Died that one time oh. When I got myself into trouble with the Teething Turtles Mafia. <laughs> teething Turtles Mafia. That incident taught me to stay away from <laughs> Oh my gosh! They break your kneecaps. Oh my gosh, Margaret! <laughs> Margaret is actually crazy. <laughs> you can see that I can walk just fine. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Indeed. I don't think I got anything out of that. Okay. If you drop a duck, it will always land on its feet. Is that really what it said? Okay. What about over here? Oh, I can't come over here. Coolio, Coolio, Coolio. Oh. Oh, you're the last person I needed to meet. Nice. Cold air ruffled my feathers. Ruffled my feathers. And I wondered what kind of sorry soul was standing all alone in the rain. You? <laughs> or besides you? 
Let me just knock these down. Sorry, scales me. Scales me. Wait a minute. Let me just. Let me. This is more important over here. Someone left their bag here. Huh. Ugh. It's full of dirty gym clothes. Is that Freddy? Adding this to the case file. A duffel bag. Noise. Can I do anything over here? There's a lot of notes, but I can't click on them. Let me come down here and talk to you, buddy. Oh, wait. First, I gotta stare at ya. Look at them nose. Well, proportion noise. Handsome. Anything to do with your ties? Hand in pocket. Hand in pocket. Bad manners. <laughs> so if you have your hand in pocket, guys, bad manners there. Boris. Embroidered name, first name. Awesome. Boris, I know a Boris. Hey man, this isn't From the bus Betty. stop. You'll have to walk south to the central bus station. Mm. What? I'm not here to take a bus. I'm here to investigate. Tell me about your coworkers. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? Yeah. <sighs> Man, I wish she'd let me talk to her. Ooh, am I sensing something here? Or is it more like I'm just trying to talk to her as like a regular person? I wonder which one it is. Um, next we got Freddy. Do you um like Nobody Freddy likes Freddy though. <laughs> He's a pretty funny dude. Oh, what nice. We finally got someone that likes Freddy. Loves to rant about detective novels. So he 100% called me. 100% called me. What do you know about Rufus Sedaris? I don't think he likes me very much, to be honest. Oh, why not? But then, doesn't feel like he likes anyone at this office. Except for Margaret when she cooks for him, I guess. Except for Margaret. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> do you think they have a thing going on? Ooh la la. <laughs> I don't work here. I thought you were a detective. Yeah, but this is temporary. I'm investigating a case here at Bear Bus. Oh, uh, do you mean the lunch that got stolen? Yeah. Exactly. You know who called me? Nah, too busy minding my own business. <laughs> too busy minding my own business. I don't talk much with the customer service folks. Truski? Hey, in this duffel bag? Do you know anything about this bag? Oh. Yeah? It's really strange. What? Things in it disappeared. Was it the salami? And others appeared. Wait, what? Very suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. <sighs> what are you even talking about? <laughs> Is this your bag? No. No, but you gotta admit, it's pretty intriguing. <laughs> <sighs> Everyone here has been really unhelpful. LOL. You gotta make your detective even more detective-y, you know? Okay, so there's probably one more thing that we can add. But I think this might be it over here. Um, I don't see anything else glowing, uh, telling us to go look for it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead, head back inside, and talk to Freddy. Okay, I got more stuff to talk to you about. What can you tell me about Margaret Whitlock? She gets really angry with me when I don't return mugs to the kitchen. Oh, all your mugs up there? Um, why don't you just return them? Yeah. I do! <laughs> Uh, just not every day. Like once a week. <laughs> what about this bag? Is this your bag? Huh? Huh? No, mine's over there. With the salami? The one with all the salami? You know the one that literally said the salami thief? <laughs> yeah. You're literally making yourself such a, like, big red flag. I need so much salami. And where did you get it? That's not mine. What? It was just there. What? A really nice surprise. Huh? Oh, someone planted it on you, I see. I'm thinking there must be... Because we already know your name is Boris. Oh, your last name. We got the last name. Awesome! Okay, so now we have enough for the client. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm pretty sure it was Freddy that hired the duck because someone was something by a co-worker known as the Salami Bandit. Uh, was stolen... Uh, lunch. No, it's not. It must be Freddy, right? Laura? What? Laura? So it was Laura who called me. <laughs> now me being surprised, even though I was here the whole time. Did you guys get that before me? What? Wow, it was Laura? I did not think that at all. I needed to discuss the case with her. I mean, it was her lunch, right? You're my client? I guess that makes sense. Well, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Hello, well. Can I put you on hold for a second? She's probably too busy. Uh, what? what? 
You should have told me you're the duck detective. What? What are you? I'm, I'm a, a duck. duck. <laughs> I'm wearing a I'm literally coat. a duck. So, is Freddy getting fired or what? <sighs> I'm uh, working. I feel like Freddy was framed. Ugh, it can't be that hard. Sorry, I'm back. Yes, let me walk you through the booking process. Oh, you're so nice. Wow, that is actually crazy. Why was that actually like a plot twist to me? I thought you was going to be the one. That is crazy. Six out of six. So we can actually answer that right now. Blank the sheep. So Margaret the sheep works in customer service. The penguin is um, Rufus and works as the janitor. And Boris the Buffalo is a bus driver. That is easy. That part was easy. Now that I had everyone's name and job, it would be easier to figure out what was going on. I'm glad that at least one of us knows what's going on. <laughs> There's nothing going on in this head, guys. It was time that I found out what happened with the lunch theft. Let's do it. And what they were planning in the kitchen. What were they planning? Ooh, guys, let me know if you, like, think, like, follow along and, like, try to think of who did it. And if you're right when the time comes, definitely know in the comments if you guys got it right, okay? The kitchen, let's go ahead and solve it. Blank is planning. Someone was planning a party. I already know. Someone's planning a surprise party. I'm pretty sure it's a birthday party. Oh, wait. Birthday party for, um, it was, uh, Lo no, Lo not Laura. The girl in the front, Sophie. Oh, so it's Laura is planning a party for Sophie. I lied. Margaret? Margaret is planning a surprise birthday party. Don't you just love it when you just, like, have your own supplies? You, you, you're just, like, on the plot twist by yourself. Like, what? Margaret was planning a surprise birthday what? party for Sophie. That's crazy. You know what? I knew the whole time, guys. I was just playing around. I see. He didn't actually forget her birthday. Oh, that's so nice. Wait, so where do we learn that? Um, I, I think I missed the memo. Um, you know what? I'm just going along with it. Anyways, next part. We can solve the next one. <laughs> you guys ready? <laughs> blank is being blank by blank because blank picked up the blank. You know, I feel like if I talk to them, maybe I might be able to get some more stuff. Like, for example, when I talked to her think of about that. She doesn't have the ease. She just had a ter- But don't tell anyone. She had a terrible breakup with her ex. Okay, what do you think about this guy? Are you getting along with Rufus Sedaris? You know, the two of us are from the older generation. Which means we understand each other well. Ah. He is quite harsh towards the younger ones, though. Except for you. What about this bag? Do you know whose bag this is? Isn't that Freddy's? It's Freddy's? Freddy said it wasn't his bag. Freddy's just so sus. Uh, why are you so sus? Do you know anything about this bag? Why are you going around pushing bags into people's faces? <laughs> Ugh, what's that awful smell? Ugh. It's, uh, dirty gym dirty clothes. Gym what is your what you and Margaret? With Margaret Whitlock. Ah, oh, she's a true sweetheart. We have our weekly mahjong evening. Aw, that's actually adorable. But there's actually one more thing that I have. Ah. Excuse me, my guy. Ah. Why is that actually an option? What? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love that. Let me just go and just keep talking around. Because I feel like there's definitely been times that I missed some things. What can you tell me about Boris Petrovich? He's uh, not the most reliable worker. Dang. <sighs> but it's difficult finding replacements nowadays. Hey, what about this guy? What is Rufus, Rufus Sedaris like? Not the greatest janitor, but, but he came with the building. <laughs> he came with the building, so we gotta keep him. Okay. Um, I have really gotten nothing from that. It's a letter for an application signed. Okay. What over here? Are you gonna tell me anything? What are you doing? No. With Sorry. Cause that's where he keeps his prized possessions. Okay. There's no duck on the moon. Thank you. <laughs> I really needed to know that fun fact. 
Can I go back to the front? I feel like I should go back to the front. Maybe there's something else I can do over here. Okay, I can't come back over here. Can I talk to you? I'm so bored. I don't understand why such a small office needs a reception. I'm just here to keep the angry customers out. Oh, gotcha. You're just like the first line of defense. Okay, can you tell me about Laura? What can you tell me about Laura Angst? Laura needs to chill out. Needs to take a chill pill. I do love her, but, but if she keeps living like this, she'll have a heart attack by 20. Yeah, this is not a good life to live. Like you should not be stressing yourself out that bad. Okay, Boris. What kind of a person? Oh yeah, I remember Boris, Boris kind of. Wait, was it Sophie or Laura? I forgot who it was. I think it was Sophie. Oh, I don't know what I saw in him. That's your ex? That? Okay, I thought that it was like new budding love, like, and she wasn't receiving it because she was with someone. But that's the ex. I mean, I guess he's good looking. But oh my gosh, the drama! I love it. My God, is he boring? Dang. Okay, that's how they broke up. How are you getting on with Margaret Whitlock? She's sweet and all, but but she can't keep her mouth oh, shut. Oh yeah, we know that. It seems like the office knows more about my personal <laughs> life than me. <laughs> Lol. So, do you have an idea who would have hired me? It's about the incident, isn't it? Oh yeah, you already um, know. Sorry. No. Okay, that's fine. Can I come over here? It says it's locked. Oh. Okay, so I I can't go over there. Dang it. I really wanted to see. I yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. I'm just making sure I have all my T's and Q's uh, dotted. I's and I's and T's dotted and crossed. Uh, is that the expression? I don't know. Anyways, let's just go ahead and fill this in. Blank is being framed by this because this picked up the right or the wrong bag. Ooh, could that be it? The wrong bag? Interesting. So... Freddy is being framed by this because Freddy picked up the wrong. Ah, got it. Got it. That's what I was thinking. Freddy Frederson was actually being framed. I figured it was too many red flags, you know? <laughs> this office wasn't as boring as it looked. Let's go. But let's see, like, what the pay will be when like. Freddy took the bus back. Okay, here we go, guys. He's putting it all together. Luggage. He must have picked up the wrong bag. Interesting. This happened because there was another bag that's identical to his. I wonder whose other bag that the is. The bag that he picked up belonged to... Dun, dun, dun! The Salami Bandit! Woo! This made him a target. Oh my... Uh, this, the music, this really reminded me the of like... Salami Bandit I'll tell you after this. To frame him. I love this actually a lot. Everyone, it's time for... You know what? Oh gosh, Margaret, you can't be you, right? But I was gonna say, sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. I, I already know I interrupted a little bit. But like, this literally reminds me of an anime called Detective Conan, the anime. On top of that, I mean, also reminds me of the game Phoenix oh, Wright, of course. But like, the music at that time distinctly reminded me of Detective Conan. I love that. I love that to bits. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Get into position. <laughs> oh, poor Laura's still stressed. I just texted her, so she should oh, be is here it, in a Oh, even the duck's here. <laughs> huh? What's this? Surprise! Surprise! Woo! Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! Uh, no way. Aw. This is all for me. I love that. Huh? Got presents and everything. Huh? A letter. A letter. Uh. <gasps> oh. What? Salami? What a terrible present. What happened? No, you silly idiot. The real present got stolen and switched for salami. Oh. It's the salami bag. Why'd you be Margaret? Why'd you? She's a little too into this. She's a little too into it. I saw an awful lot of high-grade salami in Fredrickson's bag. 
He was and framed. No question who the perpetrator is. Oh gosh. I've been telling you all along. We can't trust Frederson. Poor Frederson. By the end of the day, he'll be fired. Dang. Mark my words. <laughs> Mark my words. Mark it. Seems like a bit of an overreaction to a present being stolen. I mean, poor like Sophie was literally crying. Or is there more to it? 100 more to it. Keep digging, duck. Keep digging. Okay, we got three things to do. Let's go ahead and keep talking about it. She's sobbing. <laughs> Let's comfort her. It'll be okay. You have the duck detective you have the here duck to detective. figure everything out. Uh -huh. What can you possibly do? <laughs> I will figure it out who did it. Leave me alone. Aw, she just, she's just sad right now. It's okay. Someone gifted Sophie a plushie. That's cute. It says limited edition. Oh, nice. Okay. It's a heart-shaped necklace. Probably from Boris, huh? <laughs> Looks tacky. Dang, not the tackiness. What about here? Ooh, this is a whole thing. Sexy alien wants my number. What? By Surface? What? Who did? <laughs> Surface Strider author's name. I bet that's gonna. I bet that's Margaret. Margaret's a little too into this. Is there? Okay. Two five two page two five two six two one total pages long book and like oh should we actually sit here and read it Captain Brightbeak stared deep into the aliens eyes there were twelve of them and they were red the eyes not the alien the aliens were blue and there were forty three all of them wore shiny metal armor which shine like something shiny made of curved metal. Why does this sound like something I made like fan fiction when I was like 13 years old? The lead alien stepped forward. Captain Brightbeak could tell it was the lead alien because it was the one which stepped forward. It was also the most beautiful, the only one with purple eyes. It made a noise that sounded a bit like talking from a hole that looked a bit like a pretty lady's mouth. What am I reading? <laughs> the translation device the captain had invented word into action, translating the words into words he could understand. Hey, you look cute, a mechanical voice whispered into his ears. Can I get your number? The freak. <laughs> what was that? What did I read? Questionable title, adult. <laughs> Novel. What? Oh. Oh god. Gosh. What did I just read? That's that's literally my thoughts right now. What did I just freaking read? There's a salami. Salami. Salami bandit. Love to see it. It says something it's one what? Everyone, not just Sophie. Weird message. Hello everyone. Quite unbelievable, I entered the office really easily, lol. Sayonara, edgelords. Cocky attitude. Huh. So is this not someone from the office? I wonder what the purpose of that letter is. Is this someone on the other side of the office in that no-go area? Adding this to the case file. Birthday letter. Okay, what do you have to tell me about the birthday letter? Just kidding. What do you got to tell me about the birthday letter? Just kidding. What do you have to tell me about the birthday letter? No one wants to tell me anything. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so I guess we can just go around and talk about other stuff. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. You want to talk? Do you think she liked my present? Which one was yours? Um, either the necklace or the plushie? I mean, now she's crying. Maybe the plushie. I think I saw a sparkle in her eyes when she opened mine. Aw. I should really get back to work. True. But first, tell me what you think about this note. Can you tell me something about this letter? Yes, please. Sophie won't even talk to me about it. I don't know what to do. Aw. She's stressed out. Let's not stress you out even more. We're out. We're out. Ducks are 70% more likely to solve crimes. <laughs> I love it. What happens to the cake? What happens to the cake now? Oh, that's all you care about. What about what do you think about this? What do you think about this letter? 
People don't know how to write letters by hand anymore. LOL. What's with the weird line breaks? Line breaks? Interesting. Okay, what about you, Freddykins? You're the most sus person here. <laughs> they, they really think I've done it. Yeah. Duck Detective, you have to help me. I gotcha. You, you, you know it wasn't me, right? Bag. Did you not think it was strange that your bag <laughs> was full of salami? Did you not think it was strange? Uh, I don't know. I thought someone gave me a salami surprise. I'll eat salami sandwiches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from now on. Ah, free salami, free food. I mean, I wouldn't refuse that, not gonna lie. Um, but I think I'm done with you then. Let's go ahead and just check around. Can I do anything here? Ooh, yes. Complaints. Message, complainer. Laura says, can the OO please clean their desk? I can smell it until here. Who's the OO? What about over here? We got Sophie, chat, friends. They're friends. Yeah, I know Sophie and um, uh, Laura's friends. That's why I thought Laura was the one that made the um, party for Sophie, but I guess she was too busy. I guess that makes sense. And what about this? This is, uh, but they're sexy now. What? OMG, LOL. Is he serious? What a dumb pen name. Haha. -ha. It's just his name backwards. Who, who are they talking about? Pen name. A mysterious author. Oh, it's the alien thing? Oh, so we gotta read their name backwards. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You definitely don't want to be Laura's enemy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds sus. Okay, can I do this now? Oh, okay, gotcha. Hint, me and sexy alien. Oh, I gotta read that again. Oh, it's Rufus? Rufus made this? So he made a book, and I'm pretty sure that Margaret read it. Oh my gosh. This is so scandalous! Uh, okay. So she said, okay, so let's look at the female. Um, step forward, Captain could tell it was the lead alien because it was the only one step forward. It was also the most beautiful one with purple eyes. Purple eyes in like, yeah, 12 purple eyes. I don't know, let's check that out. There we go, purple eyed alien. I cracked it. Cracked it. Let's see what secret she has on her computer. Okay, let's see what you got in here. Delete everything. Aw, cutie. Heart, heart. Delete everything. What? Deleting data? Illegal activity? Accomplice! I don't know. It, it seems like cutie is, uh, heart? Lovers? Like, Rufus seems to be... This seems to be Rufus. And delete everything. So Margaret is pretty sus, I would think. Oh, what? Secret cake recipes never gonna give you never gonna give you up West VPN Okay, bear bus vouchers um, Three hours delay compensation booked on next bus vacation Planned trip. So you're going on a vin vacation interesting Okay, who is this person? She's missing. we already know who it is. It's Rufus Rufus, you want to talk to me? You got something to say? Oh, no, you don't. Not a fan of all that high school drama. <laughs> People just cry over everything these days. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, so it's looking very sus. Margaret is looking very, very sus right about now. I'm not gonna lie. Um, oh, now there's a thing over here. Interesting, this was not here before. Customer's procedure for... Passengers entering from the west border. Interesting. Okay. Customs import. Customs. Sorry, not customer. Allowed goods. We got personal items worth less than 500 smucks is the language. Is the, is, the, is the thing. Prohibited is weapons. Gun. Scary. Uh, 10 trombones? Is this because of Freddy? Literally, they put it on the ban list because of Freddy. Was that? I, I remember him saying something like that. Meat, potatoes, books not in the interest of the eastern state, and plants. It says luggage will be checked at the bus station. Place, Brazil. Interesting. For information, go to that. Interesting. What do they have against potatoes? <laughs> what do they have against potatoes? Okay, my guy. Um, talk to me. Maybe it was too romantic. The heart? I knew you got them the heart. Did Sophie ask about me? Oh. Should I? No. 
I'll be honest. Um, I'll be honest. She did. <laughs> ah, I see. Maybe I should have gotten her something more expensive. Aww. I mean, you should just move on, my guy. Sophie said that you're boring, and I'm um, not gonna lie. I don't know if you can come back from that. Womp womp, you know? Anyways, let's go ahead and try to see if we got all the details. I think we can talk to the boss. That's all we have to do now. Do you know anything about this letter? What you know, big guy? Well, it's obviously a cheap prank by Frederson. Everyone's sussing Freddy. Only he would find this funny. <laughs> okay, you have anything else to say? I'm guessing you're ready to present legal evidence of <laughs> Frederson's misconduct. You're ready. It wasn't Frederson. Yeah, he was framed. Everything is pointing towards But him. he was framed. I will present the true culprit soon enough. Yes. Well, I don't really care how long it takes you. This will be Frederson's last day. I feel like all signs are now pointing towards Margaret or Rufus. Probably Margaret. Because Rufus is just like a lovesick puppy that's like follows after her. Can I look over here now? What are no, you yeah, doing no, with no, the... No, 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 I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Ducks are the first species to abolish the mar... What are these? What are these? Okay, now, now these are not duck facts anymore. As far as I know. Anyways, um... The two desks on this side are unused. I think we're basically done and ready to crack the case, right? This is still locked. It says it's locked. It's locked, yeah. So uh, let's just go ahead. I think we ha I think we have enough to like just solve the case now. So let's see. Okay, so we do have enough to finish this. The present. Blank received uh, received the following gifts from her colleagues. Okay, I can answer this one. I feel like I can confidently answer this one. So Sophie received the following um, presents from her colleague. Blank gave her a plush. I'm pretty sure Lori gave her a plush. Um, either Margaret or Rufus. I feel like it's Margaret gave her the book because Rufus wouldn't would probably gave that to Margaret, you know. And then Boris gave her the necklace. Um, Blank got stolen cake was it cake no it wasn't cake i'm guessing uh letters i think it's letters right nothing oh wait is it just uh not was it um was it rufus this whole time oh please don't tell me it was rufus that gave her the book that wouldn't make sense yeah okay it was rufus Ew! So, why nothing got stolen after all okay so i was uh, kind of right about that nothing got stolen it seemed that the salami present was intentional interesting yeah because nobody reported their gift being to be missing you know okay we can do the business one blank are being blank blank from blank um buses are being illegally imported from Brazil. Okay, not not salami. Salami is being illegally imported from Salsicia. Interesting. Of a high grade salami. Wow, they're really impor illegally importing it. I just needed to find out who was behind this. Gotcha. So this whole thing is literally just because somebody is trying to smuggle in some salami. Okay, gotcha. Great to know. <laughs> this entire thing is because of that. But it's, it's still crazy that like Rufus actually gave gave that away. I thought that was just for Margaret's eyes only, but no, I guess he's an actual art author. I think. Uh, I'm not gonna knock it. Not gonna lie. Blank received a blank blank that contained a blank. Is it not Sophie? Received a scary letter that contained a scary message no <laughs> uh there we go i just had to switch it around sophie received a sophie silly threats gotcha i needed to find out why the mystery of the salami bandit was slowly getting unraveled. I'm glad it is for one of us. <laughs> Let's go, cutscene. Let's goods do it. Are prohibited from entering and being sold in the east. Gotcha. This is why the salami bandit decided to make a business. The business of smuggling salami. Buying high-grade salami in the west. Yeah. 
smuggling it to the east. Interesting. And selling it at a high profit. You know, that's actually crazy. Like, this is turning into, like, a big case. Also, for some reason, Sophie received a letter from the Salami Bandit. Wait, is it Boris? That had a hidden, threatening message. Why? Be quiet. This was serious. I had to question all of the employees. Interesting. The heck? Thanks for coming, everyone. Ooh, this got really dark. Well, everyone except for Sophie. Does she know what's going on? Where is she? Where is she indeed? She needs to be here. Slacking off, playing on her computer phone like usual. She was literally just crying in distress. She's having problems with her family. She was at her desk and said she needed a moment. Ooh, or does she know what's going on? I will start then regardless. Let's do it. I have made my deductions and drawn some serious conclusions. And what is it? Oh, finally! Is Freddy getting fired then? Oh my gosh, Laura. Who is the murderer? Oh, not murderer! Yeah. Nobody even what? died! <laughs> no one died! Oh gosh. I'm getting framed! I'm telling you! What a load of baloney. He is right. He's right. Actually. Yeah. He is getting framed. What? Why would anyone bother? <laughs> ah, that is the question. The motive, isn't it? you know? Why would anyone bother? Yeah. Get to the point. It's through my observations that I uncovered. Dun, 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 dun. A conspiracy. A conspiracy? <gasps> she gasped. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Why are we still listening to a random dog That's that true. waddled into this office? I did just waddle into the office. I'm leaving. No! No, you're looking sus. Very sus. I'm a certified private investigator and... It's okay. Just tell us what you know. <sighs> so this is getting good, guys. Is being smuggled from Salsicia using your very own buses. Ooh. Huh? What's going on? Okay. That's the first time you talk, my guy. I really have more important things to do. No, listen, this is important. Uh, <laughs> nobody believes the little duck. Now that is really scandalous. Does that mean we're losing our jobs? Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm literally making the whole office in distress right now. Listen, everybody. Stop leaving. We got to get to the bottom of this. It's really important that no one leaves the premises. As like four people just left. <sighs> I need to get back to work. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, everybody's leaving? Yeah, nobody listened. He's like, I'm leaving too then. <laughs> Oh, man, who are we sussing, guys? Who are we sussing? I'm still here. Of course you Mr. are, because Duck I'm detective. repping you. Like, you literally have nothing else to lose but to listen to me. Yeah. Ugh, yeah. Not what I wanted. Oh, yeah, you're still here. Okay, let's talk to my guy. What do we got to say? This is getting intense, isn't it? It is, it is. I wasn't expecting all of this. Maybe you could need a little help? Help? You seem lonely. Lonely? I could be your assistant. Oh, gosh. What do you want me to do? Okay. D uh, decipher messages? No. Talk someone into telling us the truth? I don't think you can do that. Follow people around? Maybe. I'm pretty good at that. But they're... <laughs> Just stay here. You stay put. Like this? Yeah. Yep. You're doing amazing. You're doing good job, buddy. Oh, there's a phone here. Ooh. Ooh la la. Let's go sneaking into the phone. Whose phone is this? KTS Sender Enjoyers. So this is like a BTS type thing. The band. Almost dead. Are your parents still angry at you? I'm guessing that's Laura. Angry. Fight? Uh, ah, I'm guessing, yeah. Message. Nonsensical. <laughs> ah, what? What is that message? This is curious. Very curious. Why would she write like this? Unless she just like fell asleep on her phone or something. That's the only way I can see it like happening like that. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Oh, now you're moving about. I like that. Oh, who would hire me at this age? Well, poor Margaret. Oh. Margaret's actually stressing out. Maybe I can be a 
A real estate agent. I can see that. You're really sweet, you know? I always wanted to be a rich real estate agent. You got it. Okay, can I do uh, anything with this? No, I got nothing. I got nothing. Let's see. Oh, I can go on your phone. Oh, your computer. Yeah, he 100% he knew about me. Social media account. Stalking. My little stalker. Looking for a job will do almost anything. Buy my book. <laughs> oh, my poor little Eugene. Okay, it says murder at the Beaver's Dam. Interesting. Detective novel. That's that's my novel. A kidnapping and a king kingpin. Interesting. It's just a, a, a kidnapping. I wonder why. Why are we doing all of these words? Is, clearly obsessed with is there actually going to be some kidnapping involved? Oh, that will be bad. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, wait. There's something over here we can do. This folder says... Manual for CS agents. How and when to create vouchers correctly. What? I'm falling asleep <laughs> just reading the title. Okay, cool. So that's not that. We definitely got to talk to uh, the girl over here, Sophie. Oh, gosh. A lot of you guys are here, but Sophie's not. Excuse me? What's happening? So Sophie left. Oh, no. And she left a note on the desk. Oh, she left a note. Let's read it. That's it. I quit. You'll never see me again. Sophie. <gasps> no! She quit! Uh, quit job. Sudden news. Oh, no. Let's see. Never. Dramatic. <laughs> really got dramatic from that. Sophie. Letter author. Interesting. Did Sophie actually write this or did what she a leave? Dramatic turn. Very I dramatic. Keep this as evidence. Yeah. Mine now. Adding this to the case files. Regination. I guess we gotta show it to the boss. What do you What do you think about this letter? Did you read Sophie's letter? You are her ex. I did. Something's off. Yeah, I think so Something's too. Different. Because like, especially how she texted back to uh, Laura earlier. She left. Just like this. Yeah, just like this. <gasps> Maybe she's at home. No, wait. The, the plushie's just on the floor. Should I look for her? Oh, no. The plushie's on the floor. I don't think she left. She would just leave it. Let's see. The last dialed number on this phone is 03051777. Whose number is that? Sophie's parents are awful, you know. Huh. I wonder if that's what made her run away. No, I don't think she ran away. This is the note Sophie left. Can you tell me more about it? It doesn't make sense at all that she just suddenly leave. Yeah. She definitely needs the money. And she would have told me I'm her friend. Yeah, they're like BFFs, friends. Friends to the end. Type friends. Can I come in here now? It says it's locked. Still locked. Gosh dang it. Yeah, this is even tipped over. Unless she's like being so dramatic like that. Unknown number. Anymore, I'll tell them everything. Don't. Fight. Ooh, is this Boris? You block this number. Click here to unblock. Blocked. No communication. Ooh. It says, am I the... <laughs> am I the butt nugget for expecting my coworkers to remember my birthday? That's funny. Birthday card. High expectations. I mean, they, they, they did remember. <laughs> it's my 20... <laughs> Uh, I literally go to the, the, the Reddit page of this a lot, so it's just so funny to see that here. It's my 20 female birthday today, and no one congratulated me. I don't need much, but at least a handwritten card would have been nice. That's so funny. I can't believe she complained about this so Straight to Reddit! Okay, anything over here? Oh, that's just the note. Okay, gotcha. Huh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. You already reacted to all that. Um, this is already good. I think I gotta go talk to everyone else inside. And be like, do you know that Sophie is missing? You know. You, you, you. You. Sophie's missing. What do you think of this note? What do you think about this note? It's no surprise she's left, is it? Wow, you're not surprised? Would you want to work with someone you've dated in the past? Oh, true. True, true, true. It's just so awkward, I tell you. What about the big boss guy? Or Rufus? Rufus? Oh, no, you don't care. Why would Laura recruit you <laughs> to deal with a thing? You! 
Aren't there any other detectives who are actually qualified for the job? That's crazy. I'm uncovering big stuff here, okay? I've been doing very well so far. Yes. If I do say so myself. And I do. The truth will be revealed in the end. Yes. Uh, the truth. Oh, man. There was a saying in Detective Conan in the anime as well. It's like, the truth always prevail. I think that's what it was. Oh, I love that. I wonder if they took off, they took some, like, um, inspiration from that show. Like, seriously, guys, I love that show. I used to watch it, like, all the time. <sighs> and I know it's still running, too. Oh, what? Um, oh, he's not here. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Manfred is out of his office. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Time to see what's behind his precious family Probably, portrait. like, a safe, right? Yeah, I thought so. Can I... Ooh. CS00BD. Oh, freak. I don't know. Okay, so we gotta look around real it's quick. Maybe the birthday is the 7. So, 7 is the birthday, I think. But I don't know the first one. Can I just force my way through? No. CS. CS00BD. Oh! You're out here? It's not really a detective's job to spin crazy conspiracy. That's not what I was doing at all. I promise. Sometimes the truth is pretty crazy. The truth always prevails. Seems a bit cheap. Okay, what do you think about this note? Have you seen Sophie's resignation? <laughs> no. Dang. I can't say it comes at a surprise. Oh, yeah, he's not surprised either. She never particularly enjoyed her job. Dang. It's nowadays though oh i mean he's somewhat sad that she's not here okay so i really don't see any numbers cs i really don't know what that stands for this one might be the one to get me stumped not gonna lie not gonna lie so after looking it up because you know of course i voted it was 214 honestly i don't know how i don't know why but it's 214! <laughs> Love to see it. Awesome. Of course I did it! I, me, Nina, no help, of course, from the internet. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I did it. Oh, I always wanted to open a ridiculously <laughs> big safe. Yeah, you did it all by yourself, too. <laughs> Let's see what secrets he has in here. Yeah, watch it just be a piece of toast or something. Oh, there's actually stuff here. Keychain, server room keys. Let's freaking go. Oh, what's this? Two letters, different handwritings. I wonder, dear Ingrin, I know I haven't been there for you and the kids recently, but things are looking up. I would love to take you to a romantic getaway to Hollandaise. Love, Manfred. Wow. And this is from Keep Quiet About The Thing. Quiet? The Year of Snitching? So they said different handwriting. So this is from Manfred and this is from someone else. Do all these things and nothing will happen to you. Blackmail? Enemy? <gasps> now I kind of want to see what it's, what's over here. TV in my room? Employee of the month? <gasps> so it's Rufus? Wait, whoa, because the employee of the month is definitely Rufus right now. Demands? What? Off a lot of security for a branch manager. Wait, this keychain. Let's go to the storage room or the Here server room. Is. The key for the server room. AKA Rufus's room. Okay, off to the server room we go. Actually, do we have anything that we have to like do? Ooh, so we can do this actually. The receptionist. Sophie, let's say Sophie got kidnapped because Blank wanted to um, snitch. Oh, because maybe, maybe it's Sophie twice. Sophie wanted to snitch. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Sophie. Kidnapped. Yes, sir. Reed, this is turn. This is heating up, guys. Faster there than must I know. Be more to this. There must be. Ooh, yeah, we're going to the service room right now to hear about this. Ooh, things are heating up, guys. This, things are getting good. Let's freaking go. Besides the safe thing, things are progressing really nicely. Not gonna lie. 
Here we go. Let's see what's hidden in here. Let's see what Rufus is hiding. Uh, what are you doing? Nothing. Mind your business. Uh, secret detective business. Come on, you got. Let me do this. <laughs> hmm. There is over a thousand ducks. Interesting. The electrical sparks and blinking lights created a claustrophobic atmosphere. Is, is this the janitor? What are you doing? I, I mean, I guess he's not a mechanic. Felt that I wasn't supposed to be here. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So don't hurt yourself. It's over here. What's he keeping in all these boxes? Yeah. Boxes added a clue. Is there a lot of salami? I don't think it's meant to do this. Oh yeah. Rufus has not been doing his job, guys. What's happening here? Oh, it's me! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bags under eyes, anxious. Not me coming for myself, though. I'm literally about to start coming for myself. Is there is there any stains? Oh, chipped, chipped fingernails. Oh my gosh. We don't need this close-up of myself right now. I'm already going through it with Anna. Take me back, Anna! Tattered hat. Poor! Why am I coming for myself like this? Is actually crazy. Ah, there we go. Breadcrumbs. Shame. <laughs> why, did I, why did I do this? I just literally came and looked at this mirror just to just literally throw shade at myself. Anxious, shame, poor. What did that accomplish? <laughs> what did that accomplish? Has that been there the whole day? That is embarrassing. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to read this. Honestly, this is nicer than my apartment. Oh, this this is definitely his spot. September 7th. Let's look at it. We got Eze. Bear Bus 100 Smucks Voucher. Sale listing voucher. Interesting. 80. Oh, so you're selling it at 80. Interesting. Um, Lisa. How to delete Eze selling history. Dad, this is not Google. <laughs> Manipulate history. Confusing message. Computer illiterate. Ah, oh, Lisa is um, Rufus's daughter, and that's why he wanted to delete his history. That's crazy. Camera, bus, CCTV. Ooh, looking at the camera playback. Interesting. What's up with these bear bus vouchers on Easy? Trying to sell it for the low, the low, low. Okay, do I have enough? I do have enough to solve it now. Interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead. We have enough. So let's go ahead. I think this is the final thing. We're gonna piece them all together. I think. Let's hope that it goes swimmingly. Blank, blank, blank. To make him or her stay quiet about blank. So I'm gonna say Rufus. Uh, but he didn't kidnap her because he was with us. <gasps> then again, he did leave first. Ooh, kidnapped Sophie. To make him or her stay quiet about um, the salamander bandit illegally importing salami. Blank is the one that provides the um, vouchers to uh, Boris. Or, sorry. Okay, so I think Laura. Oh no, three or more things are wrong. Oh freak. I thought Laura was the one that was providing the vouchers because okay. Um, is it someone else? Oh, or is it is it is it this other way? Is it Rufus blackmailed um Manfred? Ah, gotcha. Or is this all about the vouchers? Um selling vouchers? Ah, this was all about the vouchers. It had nothing to do with the salami. Gotcha. This is what Rufus and Margaret were doing with the vouchers. Gotcha. Okay. That might be illegal, but... But it's not the sala salami case. This wasn't what I was here for. Yeah. I needed to catch the salami bandits. Who cares about the illegal, the, the, the illegal selling of the vouchers? I quickly needed to find out where Sophie was being kept. Oh my gosh. So, like, it wasn't Rufus or... Is it Boris the whole time? Like, oh my gosh. I also couldn't let the salami bandit get away the with The way this. that I keep flip-flopping. Like, I don't stick on a stance. Who the freak is doing the salami banditing? 
It was finally time to find out who was behind everything. Is it really Boris? Oh, oh, we can actually solve it now. Sophie is at Boris's house. Loki, the only person I know. Home. Blank. On a bus? Oh, no. Oh, God, she is at Bear Bus Station. In a bus. Office? Gotcha. At a Bear Bus office. Oh, my God. That's where she is being kept. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's important that I stayed calm now. Yeah, we got to go see I her. I couldn't alert the culprit. Or all of this will have been for nothing. I needed to first figure out who is behind everything so I could confront them. Who is behind everything? We have enough information for that. Okay, blank is the salami bandit because blanks and his or her blank are blank. I would guess that it's like blank because I would say the salamander bandit. Manfred? Manfred? Manfred's a salami bandit? Whoa, what? Okay, sorry guys, I kind of did trial and error kind of thing. I made every other decision wrong except for the Manfred one. Cause I, I saw that the handwriting was identical. I knew that part and I just changed it to Manfred? Manfred is the salami bandit. I even looked at the handwriting. They, they, they did the, the T's different. I thought, what? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah, guys, it makes a lot of sense. You know, big boss. Yeah. <laughs> Ironic that his handwritten note meant to frame Frederson ended up incriminating Manfred instead. Wow. No, honestly, I, I, cause I was looking at the T's. I was looking back at the letters. I was looking at the T's. The T's were different. So that's why I never sussed him. Something was missing here. Ooh. Who else was involved with this? Manfred. I had collected everything I needed. I just had to organize my thoughts. Wow, this is getting intense, guys. We got this last one, guys. We got this last one, okay? We got it. Blank is the Salamander Bander's um, accomplished because the Salamander Bander needs someone who can easily carry out the importing of the Salamai. Gotcha, it's Boris. Boom! See, that was fast. That one was fast. Salami Bandit Let's wasn't go. Alone. It made sense for the bus driver to be involved. Yeah, he needs to be involved. Gotcha. So what else? I got. I can. I could just. This is literally what I'm doing all of my think work in this basement, the server room. That's literally what I'm doing all of my thinking. But let's go. Blank is the Salami Bandit's blank because he or she used to date blank. Okay. Uh, lover. Oh, wait, no, no, sorry. Uh, not lover. Enemy. Yeah, there we go. So, I'm thinking Sophie is the Salamander Bandit's enemy because he or she used to date Boris. And the Salamander Bandit needed someone who could convince Boris into helping. I lied. Um, I'm guessing accomplice. There we go. That's that. That's it. There we go. I Sophie was part of it. Sophie managed to talk Boris into this. Gotcha. Is that uh -huh. why she dated him? I had it all figured out now. It was time that I confront the culprits. Let's do it. But first. What are you going to do? I had to free Sophie. Let's free Sophie. Let's go cutscene. Oh, she really was there. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh, Laura. Sophie. And everyone else is coming out now. What's going on out here? Yes. Uh, let all the people come Why out is here. Everyone yelling? Yes. It is time for my big reveal, everyone. Stick around. This looks dramatic. Very dramatic. It's kind of a long story. I like how Sophie's just kind of chill. And guess who deduced said long story? Me! <laughs> the duck detective. The one and only. Duck detective. As you should be super proud about it. Read the room. LOL. This is how everything went down. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Recap. Sit back, relax. The Let's Brits see it. The Brits Bus branch was suffering losses and had their budget cut as a result. Manfred, worried about the financial stability of his family, felt himself backed into a corner. 
Dang. This is when he became the Salami Bandit. But why was he, he messing with his, his co-workers? Grand plan of salami smuggling and realized he couldn't do this alone. Wait, what? How did this go from lunch theft to he this, though? Boris, since it would be easiest for the bus driver to load and unload the wares discreetly. The bus would go through a customs check at the Salsiccia bus station first. And then, Boris would take a detour to get the salami and load it onto the bus. This is why the buses always had a huge delay. Ah, going back to that. It would be easy to talk Boris into crime. So Manfred convinced Sophie to join the team. Oh, because he loves her. Boris That's adorable. Her would make it easy for her to manipulate him into helping with their plan. Everything and here I come well in, the detective duck. The duck detective. That's me. That's me. Yeah. Infiltrated the office. Freddy was meant to be the scapegoat for the crime, but I'm not fooled that easily. Sophie began getting cold feet and ultimately wanted to confess to the police. <laughs> Manfred couldn't have this, so he interfered. Interesting. In an outburst of panic, he abducted her and hid her in the luggage compartment of one of Let's the Let's go. Buses. I love when everything just comes together at the end like this. And this is why... Yeah? Manfred stole Laura's lunch! That ending, though! That ending, though! It does not... <laughs> Like, everything was like, oh my gosh, this big conspiracy. It's crazy. And it all started because Manfred stole Laura's lunch. Why? Because of the salami? What? Everything is figured out, but who is truly guilty? What? Manfred, Sophie, and Boris are all involved in the smuggling. Who should get arrested for their crimes? Manfred was the master. <laughs> I like that he just continued going on though. Should Manfred get arrested? Oh no. Okay, I my in my opinion, I feel like Manfred is like the most like um he like he's the mastermind. He should be, but like ah. I mean, okay, if this was like a real life case and this wasn't salami, but like it's counterpart of what you smuggle in. Then I would say yes, he goes to jail. But like, we're literally talking about salami here. I don't know if they should go to jail for salami. But like, if we're talking about the real world counterpart, then yes. He is the reason this all started in the first place. Oh my gosh. Of course he should be arrested. What about Sophie? Without her, the smuggling wouldn't have been possible. Oh, please don't make me do this. She manipulated poor I feel Boris bad for Boris, into though. taking the salami across the border. Yeah, she didn't have to do all that. Should Sophie get arrested? Again, if we're talking about the real world counterpart of what you actually smuggle in, it's not, not, not salami. I want to say no to everyone, but I already said yes to Manfred, so yeah, I'm just going to say yeah. What she did was she needs to face yeah. the cut. Boris was at the end of the chain. Had he refused to take the salami on board, the plan would have he not worked out. He is the backbone, out. right? Should Boris I don't get think arrested? Boris should get arrested, though. I, I maybe favoritism. I don't know. He didn't even realize what was happening. Could I have just said none of them could get arrested? I feel I don't bad. Think this is a basis for arresting someone. All right, I've made up my mind. Maybe I could have just said nobody, huh? I will report to the state police. Manfred! Sophie! This is so, like, dramatic. And I do it again! <laughs> and I'll do it again! Anything to secure See, my family's well-being. See, that's why I was like, ah, oh, I, I low-key don't want to put you to jail. I'm not sure grand-scale salami smuggling was necessary for that. How else was I going to cope with all the budget cuts? Yeah, that's kind of sad. If anyone actually worked in this office. I mean, Laura. We wouldn't have such terrible performance in the first place. Laura 100% works, though. Hey, yeah. I, work. I stand by Laura. Yes, and then you keep <laughs> asking for promotions. Because she deserves it. How am I going to give anyone a promotion if we have people baking cakes during working <laughs> hours? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and while we're at it. Oh, gosh. Poor Manfred. Rufus. Yeah. 
How dare you embezzle money from the company and then threaten me? <laughs> They're in on it too. Rufus said we're only doing that until his book takes off. <laughs> until his books takes and off. Oh, play the lead alien in the movie adaptation. Look who's going to jail now, Manfred. Oh man, I kind of feel bad about sending him though. Not me, that's for sure. <laughs> dot dot dot. I stand by what I said. I regret nothing. What is this? Seriously. If I had known that calling the duck detective would result in this, I would have never done it. Seriously, all because of a lunch. You were supposed to find out who stole my lunch. Not accuse my best friend of smuggling. Dang, yeah. Oh my gosh, you're going to jail. I knew this was a bad idea from the beginning. That's why you shouldn't manipulate people. I'm sorry. That's messed up. Why did Boris have to lose the bag? My god, he is such an idiot. Not you putting it all on Boris, though. Poor Boris. I had no idea it was that important. Why didn't anyone tell me about the plan? You didn't even know? You said your cousin was ill. And the only thing that would make her happy was the salsiccia salamis. Aww. Oh, I should have known. Dang. If you're stupid enough to believe that, then you're also too stupid to bring a couple sausages Okay, okay, the Sophie. Border. Okay, Sophie. Wow, you really did quack the case, Mr. Duck Detective. The <laughs> You're just as cool as I imagined. That bi. Not now, Ferguson. Yeah. Dang. We're we're actually sending the police. That's crazy. The truth is an ugly mistress. I mean, justice needs to be solved, served. You know. You can't do the crime. Don't do the time. You can't do the time. Don't do the crime. The fine week of Lady Justice. So who's paying you though? Manfred. 98% of players decided to arrest Manfred. 64% of players decided to arrest Sophie. And 69 players decided to... Wow, I'm surprised that Boris has more than Sophie. Because, like, low-key Boris is the most innocent one here. Like, he did st still carry it out. But, like, dang, Loki being... I can just, like, feel so bad. Like, your crush, your, the person that you love, is like, Oh my gosh, you really have to do this for me or else my aunt will die. Like, I'm sorry. I stand with Boris. The other two, I, I'm sorry, you arrested. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. I love that. I think that's actually, that's actually it. That's actually, I would love for there to be like more cases, more stuff. Like I love the art style. I really love the music. I love like, it like literally reminds me of Phoenix Wright. Like uh, I suck at that game too, but <laughs> I love solving the puzzles and everything coming at the very end being like a, what's a twist? moment oh my gosh i love this this was amazing literally applause let me know if you stayed to the end guys uh keyword is duckalicious <laughs> if you stayed to the end dev let me know and tell me what you guys thought about this game and let me know who you guys would arrest like do you think that you would agree with me only arresting um sophie and manfred or would you also arrest um boris or would you arrest none of them? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, oh there's more. Crap. Oh, did you not get paid? I completely forgot to collect my payment from Are Lara. you gonna get paid? Everybody already went home. Uh. How am I going to pay for the bus? Dang. <sighs> Guess I'm walking home. Little waddle back home. Oh! Hey, buddy! <laughs> So Freddy came in clutch at the end, guys. I just booked this one. I just it's been it. such a long day after all. <laughs> I don't know why people don't like Freddy. Or, yeah, because he's lame, right? I don't know why he doesn't like people don't like him. Oh, thank you. Oh! Come on, it's Dang. Fun. Plus, you must be tired after all the detective work. Yeah. I really don't. <laughs> Come on! Well, you think Freddy's gonna take you away and like, you know, kidnap you and like, do something? I, uh, I don't think Freddy's that type of guy. Fine. Hopefully. <laughs> Great. Lol. So I finally have time to tell you all about my ideas oh, for your social media. Now I see why you didn't want to get in that car. Please don't. <laughs> I could get you tons of publicity. This definitely giving off like a Batman and Robin type situation, like your sidekick, like the main person, the sidekick. <laughs> no. And 
Imagine. Imagine. We can team up. Uh. Absolutely. <laughs> and I can be your sister. That's what I was thinking, literally. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, they could never make me hate Freddy, guys. They could never make me hate Freddy. But there we go, the end. Again, guys, love the game. Let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments. But as for now, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Nina, out.